there are very few cities which have such a place, which is non-commercial, which is public, which is really so diverse in its uh, program, but also in its spatial setup. We've done many museums, but we've never done an art center which has such complex collection of different spaces that are really great for not only showing art, uh, it, it's a good place also for lectures, presentations, people can talk, can come together. It has a little garden. So it has many things that I think are really attractive and that we believe are important in a lively city in the 21st century. Sometimes as an architect, you f try to find a context. You try to insert your building within a kind of a typology, but there was not an obvious typology. It's we wanted a building that is different and that is saying to people, hey, I'm quite hermetic at first glimpse, but then you see that it's open on the street side. It has these cantilevers on both sides where people can reach the garden behind and everybody is welcome you can just walk in so it's hermetic but at the same time it's also very open and maybe this is a paradox but i think it's exactly what will make the building very accessible and very inviting and very let's say even seductive concrete can be very hostile to some degree and we have done quite a few buildings in the past where we kind of reversed it. We put it upside down. We have done that, for instance, if you think of the Dominus Winery, which is done all of volcanic stone. We arrange it in a way that the sun shines through and it transforms it almost into a kind of a lace. So it's very light. With concrete, we have very often tattooed it, scratched off the surface or some of the surface, which makes it more porous. So it almost seems to breathe. And it's attracting you, the human eye, to discover the surface, the images that are printed in it or the pattern that is printed in it. Like here in the case of Song Eun, where we have this kind of wood surface that is the surface of a pine. And as you come closer, you also feel that it has a different surface quality. And those are all things that appeal to the senses of us humans. And as soon as it appeals our senses and we are involved in this game of discovering something, it, it changes. It loses its aspect of just being inhuman or hostile in the sense that it doesn't offer you anything. It just offers you what concrete has always been. And the way we use it here is clearly something totally different. So whatever you see is space making, gives you a nice ornament, and it is different from the neighborhood. The neighborhood doesn't have that material. It has uh, quite surprising and unexpected spaces inside. As you walk down, you become aware that there is some kind of a ramp that is for cars on one side, but for the public on the other side. So we reverse it. You discover the space from two sides, making for a very nice, interesting space because the backside of the ramp uh, creates a kind of an organic interior space, a sunken gallery, which is, uh, as our opening show will demonstrate also very attractive for curators and artists who put their art. We've done many museums all over the world and we've always been happy to see when artists use them in ways that we would not expect them to do that. The way the light comes in and uh, the way um, the space is being uh, explored or exploited, if you think of the turbine hall, this is of course almost uh, stressing art into a dimension that it hasn't had before. And maybe here in Song Eun, this kind of sunken space uh, with this kind of hole uh, will invite people to do things that they may not have done in another gallery. So it offers a potential, an invitation, but I hope it will tease them. It will trigger new ways for them to see their own work and to offer totally different forms of work than what they've done before. 
I think the first exhibition that we have been invited to do, we saw our job here in a totally different way. We ourselves wanted to discover how the building works and to find out which spaces are qualifying for what kind of display. You can connect spaces with smell. You can connect spaces visually. You connect spaces in that you use the same or different materials. And all that is part of our proposal for the display for this first exhibition. We have a building which stays for many decades, hopefully, and will make people happy over many generations. What is really wanted by us architects is that stark and also very powerful mineral face it, the building has towards the main street, uh, this commercial road. I was always extremely seduced by when I was walking in the streets of New York and you could go into one of these churches in Manhattan, which are sitting next door to some kind of super commercial um, shopping area. And you walk in and you discover, first of all, it feels the climate is different. It's cooler in summer and warmer in winter. It has a smell which is different from any other smell around. And then you have this kind of totally different olfactory impression. And also, of course, the silence or, let's say, some kind of music. That's not so dissimilar to what I like about architecture, this kind of juxtaposition of diversity.